this is one textbook question. Uh, it says that three girls, Reshma, Salma, and Mandeep, are playing by standing on the circle of radius five centimeters. So as you can see, I've drawn a circle. I took R as Reshma, S as Salma, and M as Mandeep. What else we know that uh, the, the radius of this circle, clearly radius of this circle here is uh, OR. I can see this is radius is OR or maybe OS. They are same here and that is equal to given as 5 centimeter. Further, it says that they are at equal distance. That means the length, this, this length is equal to this length. So I can, and it's also mentioned it is 6 centimeter here. They are six centimeters. So we can write this length as this is RS is equal to SM and that is six centimeter. Now we have to find the length of RM. That's what. Now, what is the distance between race and Mandi? So, in order to find this distance, we are going to use this property this property that is perpendicular drawn from the center bisects the chord. That means if OM, sorry, it's OB if it is given perpendicular to AB, then we can write AB is equal to BC. Now let's uh, see how can we use this property for that. We will be first uh, proving these two triangle congruent. Let me first join, let's say OM. Now I'm going to prove these two triangle as congruent. That is one is this, one is this triangle. And the other is this. So we'll be proving these two triangle congruent. And how can we prove that's very easy. We can write this is equal to this. That is given equal. And this length is common, right? This is common side. And this is equal to this. That is radii, right? As you know, radius of the same circle are equal. So we say they are equal. Once these two triangle are congruent, we can write angle one is equal to angle two. And that is from CPCT. Right. Once we prove these two triangle congruent and obtain CPCT, we need to prove another two triangle congruent. This time we'll be considering this triangle and the other triangle being this. Now, in order to prove these two triangle congruent, let's see what information we have. We already have RS is equal to SM. We have this length that is SH in this case is common. And this angle one is equal to angle two proved above. So the triangle become congruent. So therefore we can write angle three is equal to angle four. Once we uh, write angle three is equal to angle four, what we can see here that their sum is 180 degree. As you know, angle three is plus angle four is equal to 180 degree. And both of them are equal. So each will be 90 degrees. So angle three is equal to angle four is equal to 90 degree. So we prove this length, this length, that is this being 90 degree as, uh, the, or we can say that uh, SH is perpendicular to RM. And what I said, if you perpendicular is drawn from the center, as you can see, this is perpendicular on both sides. So it is 90 degree everywhere, whether this, 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 or this. So we have proved that uh, this line, which is drawn from the center, which is perpendicular, to this chord RM. So we know that perpendicular, once again, I'll tell you, perpendicular drawn from the center bisects the chord. That means the chord here, which is RM, it will be bisected at point H. That means we have one more relation obtained that is RH is equal to HM. Once we prove these two as equal, the next thing we are going to do is to get the length of RH. And for that, we'll be using Pythagoras theorem. So let's apply Pythagoras relation here in this triangle first. What you can see, the length of this is six. As of now, we, do, we know the radius that is uh, this being OS is equal to, OS as you can see here is five centimeters. So what I'm doing, I'm considering this to be X. So this will be five minus X. And we'll be applying Pythagoras, this being 90 degree. So let's see what results we get. That is square of the hypotenuse, which is RS here, is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. That is RH square plus SH square. RS, as you can see, it is given as six centimeters. So we can replace this with six. 
rh which is 5 minus x whole square is equal to sh right uh, sorry i did something wrong rh is rh only and sh is 5 minus x whole square now what we can do is uh, let's opt in uh, rh square on the other side so it is 36 6 square is 36 minus 5 minus h whole square is equal to rh square so we obtain rh square now again i'm going to obtain rh square use in different triangle let's see this we can apply pythagoras over here also so in this case if i this be the hypotenuse as you can see here so i can write o r square that is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to r h square minus o h square now o r the length we know is the radius which is five centimeter right we know it's five centimeter so this is five square and r h as you can see the length of r h is what we have to determine minus oh as from the figure it is x so here also we can isolate and write this as 25 minus or plus x square is equal to r h square now we are not need to consider these two triangle these two relation that is one relation from here and the other relation from here you can clearly see that uh, in both the RHS of both of them is same. So we can equate their LHS. That means I can write this as equal to this. As you can see, these are same here. So I'll write this. I can see that uh, this is 36 minus, if I open this bracket, it is A square minus 2AB plus B square, that is X square. On the other side, we have 25 plus X square. On the further simplification, we'll open this bracket. So as you know, the sign will get reversed. There is a minus sign before it, plus 10 X and minus X square. Right, uh, once we get this, which is equal to 25 plus X square. Now we'll do a further calculation here. Uh, and for that, we need to I can see we had made a small error. This was plus. So this should become minus, right? This should become minus. So let's modify this. This is a plus now. It's minus everywhere. This is minus. Okay, right. So we can see that uh, minus x squared and minus x squared get cancelled. You should know that opposite side equal sign get cancelled as you can see same sign it's minus x square and minus x square get cancelled so later on i'm transposing this number this is 25 plus 25 that is uh, 50 50 minus 36 that is 14 so we got x is equal to 1.4 once we get the length of x as 1.4 we are going to uh, replace this x with any of these equations so i can replace from here look into this from here what i'm writing 25 minus x which is 1.4 whole square is equal to rh square this is rh square further it's 25 minus 1.96 is equal to rh square and lastly this rh square comes out to be the difference that is 23.02 and its under root is 4.8. So we got this length RHS 4.8. So let's see we see the figure here. We got this as 4.8. This is 4.8 and they are equal. So 4.8 plus 4.8 is equal to 9.6. That will be the length of RM and it should be in meter. That is 9.6 meter.